you own a car, one of the most important things you can do to keep that car running well and not breaking down and leaving you stranded on the side of the road is to keep your car maintained. So most of us know that every year, uh, sometimes even more than once a year, you've got to take your car into the mechanic, get it uh, maintained, you know, have your regular service done, have any issues attended to and things fixed when they need to be fixed. So we understand it for cars. Uh, same goes for our houses, our properties as well. We understand that you have to do maintenance and repairs. But when it comes to websites, a lot of business owners overlook this. So they'll go and engage a web developer to build them a site, often on a platform like WordPress. And that site will be pieced together from various components. And what can happen is that if you don't maintain that site and sometimes actually take steps to repair it, a whole lot of issues can occur. And I'll sort of let you learn from an experience I've had on one of my sites. So a website I uh, built up and run with my brother over quite a period of time now uh, gets a lot of visitors every month. And basically we both took our eye off the ball for a short period of time. It's a WordPress site and we had a particular plugin that was used to allow the running of a classified system. Now what happened with this plugin is basically something changed uh, in the sort of security settings of the plugin. And what all of a sudden was able to happen was that basically bots or, or you know sort of computer scripts could identify a weakness in that particular plugin and what people were doing were able to do was to actually bypass any kind of moderation on a classified so normally in the past with that plugin the way it worked is you'd submit your classified uh, and then someone at the sort of website admin end had to approve it but all of a sudden you could just effectively have your own submissions approved and so in the space of about 48 hours which is the time it took for us to notice what had happened we had hundreds literally i think it was about 400 different spam submissions show up on the site now that's more pages uh, that were added than previously existed in terms of you know valid web pages on that site so suddenly in a sh very short space of time uh, you've got double the number of pages on the site and all of them were junk they were for pirated movie links and you know cracked pirated software and all those kind of things and luckily we noticed it and we noticed it because in a Google Analytics report we could see uh, page hits coming from pages we just didn't recognize at all and so very quickly able to identify that actually the issue was from this classifieds plugin went and looked on the uh, support page on wordpress.org for that plugin and a whole load of people had started reporting the same issue uh, and basically the developer put their hands up and said oh look you know there's a problem and actually you've got to pay for a premium subscription to this plugin to fix it now there's two lessons to learn here the first is you have to keep your website updated so that means either doing it yourself or it means working with your developer. So if you had your site built by a developer, especially if it's a WordPress site, where there's probably far more risk for this because what tends to happen is that, you know, components of the site or functionality is a piece together often with plugins, then it really becomes critical to keep them updated. So I say this all the time when I go and work on a website, uh, you know, if I'm doing SEO or, or installing something like Google Tag Manager or whatever the case might be, very, very common to see a site that was built, uh, you know, a year or two years ago and the plugins haven't been updated since the site launched. And this can cause some real problems. It might be something like what happened to my site where someone could post content inadvertently that you don't want, or it could represent a far more serious risk. Someone could actually hijack the site and even lock you out or delete all your files. It's all sorts of vulnerabilities that could come through. So it's really important that you either maintain it yourself, or if you don't feel comfortable doing that, that you actually engage your web developer to do it, whether that's on a you know sort of periodic basis or you factor it into a monthly hosting cost or whatever it is. Um, I'd encourage you to talk to the developer about that, whoever built the site. If you don't think that your developers able to do it there'll be other specialists who can do it for you the other thing to bear in mind is a sort of learning from my mistake is that if you are using WordPress and you're using plugins sometimes you are better off just to pay for the premium plugin in fact oftentimes you are so sometimes there'll be a free version of a plugin like this classified plugin that has a certain amount of functionality and you know for fifty dollars or a hundred dollars you can upgrade to the premium version that often has better security and more frequent updates and other features so the premium version of this classified plugin would not have experienced the same issue because part of the ability with that premium plugin is to install a capture program, you know, one of those puzzles you solve before you submit a form, and that probably would have stopped those spam submissions. But the moral of the story here is that, you know, basically I didn't invest enough in maintaining the site. I didn't do what I needed to do. I took my eye off the ball. I didn't, you know, do that routine service. And what happened as a consequence of that is that the site was basically hacked into, a whole lot of rubbish content was added. That actually has a threat or potential to cause a threat from an SEO perspective. It's bad for my brand. You know, someone's going to um, try and find themselves a pirated movie and then associate my 
website with that issue and it's really not good. So the truth is that probably there'll be numerous websites out there for businesses in all different industries and, and types and sizes who've got the potential to have this issue. So whatever your size of your business, whatever platform you're using, but especially if you're using WordPress because it is more prone to this, make sure you are keeping your site up to date if there's files that need to be updated. Make sure that you're being diligent in terms of what sort of plugins you install. So don't just go install plugins willy-nilly. That's uh, you know a mistake that I made on a, a sort of test bed type site, but it's something I've learned from. Uh, and thirdly, make sure that you are actually investing the kind of time and money to take this maintenance of your site seriously, uh, because it really does matter. So yeah, hopefully you found that helpful. Hopefully you've learned from my mistake. Make sure you go away and check that your website's kept up to date. If you've got any questions, please leave me a, a comment below, or you can email me on info at samfrost.co.nz. If you're watching on YouTube, please like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.